everybody, welcome back to RimWorld Ideology Mod. It is Witch Hunters, where we have the beautiful, awesome radio that is currently playing. Will you please turn that off, Starry, after you're done with it? You guys know me and the radio being the bane of my existence currently. <laughs> it's just extremely, extremely loud in my ear holes. Um... Hello, though. How is everybody? I'm glad you guys came to have a little fun today and, uh, you know, watch me uh, defeat some filthy freaking mages. Uh, currently trying to get all this deconstructed and things of the sort. And we are going to, I suppose, attempt to build some more steel embrasures here. Um, I don't know why I deconstructed that one. Is that what I wanted to do? I don't know if it is, to be honest with you. Um, I suppose it is, and that kind of works, but, uh, I don't think it is, actually. Is that what I wanted to do? Maybe bring it in like this? Possibly. I think I wanted to do some sandbags, if at all possible. Use some light leather here. So if I were to do this, and then do that, yeah, I think that's what we're wanting to go for here. I think that's pretty good. Um, I also want to go ahead and deconstruct some of this wall. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open these walls up. Probably not this one as much, but I'm going to open these walls up and we're going to turn these walls into embrasures. That way we'll be able to shoot outward. Uh, once again, unfortunately, and I do apologize, I am recording this shortly, well, about a few hours after the other one due to my work schedule. I am having to kind of do some more of these back to back. So... This episode is recorded before I can see any comments or anything like that. Just a quick disclaimer. I know it doesn't always matter, but I do like to just mention it because, you know, I, I feel bad and stuff like that if I'm, you know, it seems like I'm just kind of forgetting about everyone. Agasur here is falling asleep outside <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, who is it that fell in love or whatever the other day isn't it uh yeah famine and starry are lovers do you want to sleep with him you know i mean like in each other's beds i think that's not okay right i think that's against their religion if i'm not mistaken i could check on it i guess let's check on the religion uh where's it at keep names uh, spouses, physical love, spouse only strict. So I can't do that until they get married. Um, I could always put, I need to put another home in is really what I need to do. And we need to also put down a remove flooring for these tilled soil here. Try and get all this ripped up. I may just let them kind of build this and then go about removing that flooring first. And we'll try to get another home put in in there. Hello there, travelers, weary travelers from south, the south. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll probably just let them do some constructing over here on our defenses, and then well, I guess we could go ahead and put a deconstruct order as well on this stuff. This was something quick we built uh, in case of a raid, so we no longer really need that anymore. Um... Suppose we could also, what if we, I don't know if I want to do the embrasures that way. I was going to say bring the embrasures back so it kind of curves in a little, but I don't know. guess we could also put some wooden spike traps on the edges here. That's probably not a good idea because they would have to walk <laughs> over those. If we put it there, it's probably not as bad. That way if people are coming around the corner, they'll most likely get hit by the trap. So I think that'll be a little bit better. Shouldn't be too bad. Incompetent cook. See, this is the first uh, real issue we've had with that, thankfully. Um, I need to go ahead and put famine back on growing because we desperately need to get some pumpkins and stuff harvested, to be honest. Uh, not necessarily real desperate, <laughs> but uh, we, uh, we are starting to run low. I mean, we got a lot of pumpkins, but they are like a godsend. Like this rice... I'm almost positive this rice has been through like two years frozen <laughs> in the freezer. So it's it's not going bad or anything. It's been here for a long time, a very long time. Um, God only, I could be wrong, but God only knows when we got that. So it's it's been there. We've, uh, we've had a lot of food like that for a while. Oh my God, stop turning on the radio. Flossie, please turn that radio off. It's an everyday thing getting them to turn that off. Every five minutes. 
And thankfully, though, they do have most of this complete. Ooh, and we have the Greydell Defense uh, something. At, oh, Implication. Um, what about this stuff? Kinetic Energy. Precision Rifling is what we need. So if we go for... Where is Precision Rifling? Don't see it so far. I don't know why I don't know where it's at. It should be with blowback operations, right? Precision rifling. Oh, gas operation, sorry. Is that what... I think it used to be called blowback op... Oh, no, here's blowback operation. Gotcha. Precision rifling is what we need next, and we'll be able to build some other stuff. So, let's go ahead and build some steel embrasures here. And we are going to get some more... I kind of like that these sandbags aren't perfect color. I don't know why, <laughs> but I really enjoy it. Go ahead and get some uh, Go ahead and get some more sandbags going down here, though. And up here. Put a one extra here, I suppose. And, yeah, that should help out a lot. Now, as far as security goes, we can also, you know, we can build these now. So this one is automatic grenade launcher with barricades. Good against slow-moving massed enemies, which is super useful. Do have this one, a fortified machine gun nest with barricades capable of suppressing small groups while providing considerable protection. Needs to be manned. Completely fine. Have no issue with manning these. Normal machine gun, very useful. I kind of almost want to put some of these like here. Where they can also, you know, take some... Which we'll be able to shoot past this stuff. Uh, missile launcher would be very good. HMG nest is probably what we'll be using, I suppose. Um, I kind of want to put it up here near this field. Probably back it up a little bit, though, just in case. Um, it should be very useful. But I don't know. Do we want to do it there or do we want to do it, like, here? Probably put it here, I guess. The auto cannon will help out quite a bit, but... I don't know, this would be really good. We should have actually some steel. Yeah, we have plenty of steel. Oh god, yeah, look at all that steel. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and do this. Um, <laughs> I just, I like the idea of putting a giant machine gun out in the field of hay and we just strap in every time there's a raid and just start mowing people down <laughs> out from the, from the hay field, so... Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, that's how it goes, I suppose. I do also love that we have all these people. Starry is still working on that artificial arm for Richard, but that's okay. It won't be too much longer. We should be able to do that and get that done for him. Uh, it's going to take some time, though. We'll have all these defenses and things set up. I suppose we could also set up the cannon down here if we really wanted to near the freezer. It's kind of about the only spot I could think of. I can't wait until we expand out this way. It's going to be a lot easier in terms of defenses because I set this up in the very beginning and it's still not changed <laughs> very much at all. We still have wooden spike traps for God's sake, which they are very useful against normal enemies. Oh my God. Oh, Skato. I thought that was another human person that we made. Let's at least get you a bed. I mean, good Lord. We could, we could you could... Oh, well, this is unowned. Why don't we just make that for you, uh, Agasir, until we get you home? You can go down there and sleep. I mean, it's not wonderful, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> I mean, you know. Let's go ahead and turn... I want to turn all these off for now. It is springtime. It's almost summertime, as a matter of fact. So, let's go ahead and... Is it that hot in here? No, because, I mean, it's, it's keeping the temperature, so it's not an issue. Um... We do basically have all these chunks put in here as well into this pile, so this is now cleared out. Something I would like to do... Oops, do we have a... We have a quest. Loving turkeys. Okay. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I want to go ahead and mine this out and kind of square it off a little bit, and we can build some more stuff down here. Loving turkeys. Flavius Irajavik... A knight from the Fallen Imperium is making a request. He wants you to take care of two turkeys at the Divine Citadel for 25 days. The turkeys are uh, Flavius' favorite pets, and he wants them to see the world outside his royal court. Um, turkeys are suffering from paralytic uh, abasia. Must be kept in bed. For unknown reasons, the turkeys have been targeted by an orbiting mechanoid swarm. A mech cluster of 3x size will deploy nearby. 
Three cataphracts will be placed under your control. You will have to feed and house them, but they may die in battle without consequence. Good God. And this has a EMP capacitor upon impact. It blasts the target with an EMP burst in addition to physical damage. The weapon has an onboard persona that can bond to only a single person. The wielder and intelligent weapon can synchronize their reflexes and attack. Frightening speed, accuracy, creativity. Once bonded to a wielder, the weapon's persona will refuse to be wielded by anyone else. And that thing is worth 4,000 silver. Should we do that? 25 days, though, is a long time in RimWorld to be housing some turkeys. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, and really, we could take care of them. We're going to have three cataphracts <laughs> that will be placed under our control that we can use. So I don't think it's too... You know what? Oh, God, do I want to do it? It's just two turkeys, but... I don't know. I kind of want to do it. I mean, that's a really good weapon that we could give to somebody. Yeah, let's accept it. This is a probably a crazy idea on my part, okay? But I like it. I really like it. Look, here are the turkeys. Let's uh, let's get them carried to the bed. Uh, all right. So we are back. Let me go ahead and grab my mouse pad. There, apologies. I had a phone call. Uh, but we have the turkeys. The turkeys coming down, and we have our four cataphract lads here. What are you? You're a freeholder. I don't know what that means. You're a oh, you have bio coated machine guns. Charge infantry. Uh, infantry. <laughs> charged sidearm. What's that? Oh, just a little pistol. Pretty cool. So we have a new quest has become active. It is called the Pirates with the Psychic Suppressor. There, okay, so Pirates is up an outpost near the Divine Citadel to harass you. There's a Psychic Suppressor machine there. Turn to the Malgender. There's an enemy outpost at the site guarded by ten pirates. The outpost will remain until you send a team to attack and destroy it. So we're going to have a Psychic Suppression reducing their consciousness the effect is modulated by individual psychic sensitivity so it's only for males so does Miksu psychic suppression consciousness is at 50 percent max so he's at 43 percent 50 i mean that's sucky <laughs> for when we get attacked like i assume it applies to them it's a female male yeah it applies to these guys as well which makes sense because it's for the area. Um, I mean, along with that, though, it's not really that big of a deal, right? So we do have our two turkeys laying here. Where's the other one? We're going to have to take some fairly good care of them. Uh, it's going to be kind of warm. I'm trying to think of the best way to go about doing this. I think what we want to do is go ahead and put a vented wall here. And we will go ahead and get these two deconstructed for the moment. And what we'll end up doing is, because we're going to be keeping them for so long, I think I'm going to go ahead and build two wooden uh, animal boxes where they can actually sleep, because we will be taking care of them regardless. Um, hello? So, oh god, you have a gunshot injury. Ouchie. So you guys are just going to sit there. When does the... When does the, uh, where's the, what, what are we doing? Active loving turkeys. Um, so we don't even know when they're going to be deployed, um, the actual things, but that's, that's okay. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is, I don't know where to set this up at, but I would like to set up a barrack for these lads here. Uh, will they work? I can mean, uh, yeah, no, they won't work. They just do their own thing. They're going to be idle the entire time. It's fine. And also, if we lose them, that's also fine. <clears throat> um, I think I'm just going to set them up in here, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, I think I'm just going to let them sleep in here. I'll just put those down. I know there's only three of them, but still. Uh, slave Rebellion likely. Matthews, you better not. Uh, oh my god, Lou Voss, Voss, please turn off that wooden radio for the love of God. So we got the turkeys though, we got our people, our three cataphract people that we can only use for fighting, which is cool, I mean, whatever. Um, we don't have, they won't drop this stuff either. <laughs> if they die though, we can wear it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the mechs uh, should I guess be coming at some point. Look at this, look at this colony, look at all these people. These cataphract people are just chilling out in here doing whatever they like. 
Makes me sick. Starry, you're consuming a simple meal. I want to see... Oh, good God, that there is going to take absolutely forever, is it not? We're still trying to work on Richard's artificial arm. It's going to take just a really long time, but that's okay. Flossie, are you eating? Thank you. Thank you, Flossie, for eating. Oh, God, do you have... Yeah, everybody's got some food poisoning currently, which... Matthews maybe is trying to poison us. I don't know. He's, he's getting better. He's a six at cooking at this point, so... I wouldn't have expected it to be this terrible, but <laughs> but I suppose it is. Um, Amlu Vosvos is working on our HMG nest, which should help us out with the mechs. I think I'm just going to send these these guys in to die, to be honest. I think, though, if, um, if I'm not mistaken, so we'll be placed under your control. You'll have to feed and house them, but they may die in battle without consequence. I mean... Right, so that's, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Will we still get our reward and stuff? We just have to take care of the turkeys. So it sounds like... Oh, Luvasvas messed this up. Sounds like, though, they these three can die and everything's going to be fine. So, I don't know, though. We'll have to see if that's still accurate. I have to see if that's still accurate when the opportunity comes to fight the mechs. I don't know when they're dropping. So far, they haven't dropped at all. So, I have no, <laughs> no idea. I'll try and get all this wood hauled urgently into the area here. How much do we have here? 661. That's a good bit, but I want to stuff this little pocket full of wood. <clears throat> that way we have plenty of fuel. I want to get this hauled ur urgently as well. Get that out of the way. We need to put actual medicine there, which we don't really have that much of, but put it there, and that way we can, uh, we can use it. So... Everybody is on, I want to put everyone on herbal medicine, and we kind of keep in mind that they're all on herbal medicine. Um, yeah, I mean, these these guys, I'm not really worried about. They can take doctor care, no medicine for these three. They're not our problem, right? We don't have to deal with them. Excuse me. Matthews, please. Somebody turn, <laughs> God, turn the radio off. I'm considering getting rid of the radio or putting it somewhere else. I really am. It keeps doing that. We keep having to deal with it, which sucks. Oh, my God, it sucks. Oh, man. Uh, as soon as we get these built, though, we'll get the good old turkeys moved into there. Why are four calling... Oh, it yeah, is talking about those. Richard is always... Um, he is always uh, idle until we get his arm going, so it's going to be a little while. Suppressing Matthews, then coming back to work on the artificial arm. Yes, please. Oh, uh, look at that bar. So, <laughs> so close, yet so far. All good things come in time, I guess. So, I shouldn't be complaining too much. I'm going to wait until Luvasvas gets some stuff like this HMG nest and stuff finished. Oh, here's more medicine. Uh, before I start putting in any smaller work orders, we are going to need to try and buy some components soon. We are extremely low on components. I actually don't think we have enough to complete this, if I'm not mistaken. We may have to try to... We've used a lot of them on repairing things as well. Um, I don't know. Maybe we, we might end up having to buy them somewhere if we have the opportunity. This is steel. I mean, I'll leave that there until we have the opportunity to actually get some more compacted machinery or just components in general, but I don't know. We assign this to the... Are these okay? Like, fearful? Can I set assign you? Oh, you're too large for the animal boxes. Sleeping boxes. Okay, that's fine. You can stay out here in the rain. It's cool. Let's go ahead and deconstruct those then. Maybe, I don't think I'm thinking of a box, am I? For the sleeping spot? What am I thinking of? It's not a box. Or is it? It's not a box. It's, uh... Wasn't there the, the thing <laughs> before? Where you could actually do, like, an animal... Yeah, animal bed. It's literally right next to it. I clicked the wrong thing. We'll do that. We'll put them there. They should be okay, right? Fits any animal. Yeah, that's my fault. Whoopsie. How embarrassing. We do have these boxes for the foals, but I want to make some little cotton beds for the turkeys so they're nice and comfy. And uh, that way we can do that. And uh, yeah, we can keep them nice and safe. <laughs> Things of the sort. 
And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm waiting on the mechs. Nothing, nothing's happening. Where are the mechs? I'm expecting mechs. I'm expecting a big fight. A, a war with mechs. Yes, please. Oh, my God. I'm going to... I'm deconstructing this radio. I am so sick of it. Oh, my God. It is so loud. Go deconstruct that. Prioritize deconstructing. Please get rid of that immediately, Lou Voss Voss. Get in there, sir. Uh, if you can get that done, and hopefully, mate, well, if we get a component from it, wouldn't that be nice? Let's see. No components. That's all right. It wouldn't radio. It takes components, but whatever. And cancel that. And we'll leave that. Get rid of the radio. We'll do something else. Oh, my God. That is terrible. <laughs> That's absolutely terrible. Uh, when are the mechs going to just drop in and murder us? Cold blood. Well, I let time pass for quite a while there. Nothing's really happened. We've just got a lot of repairs done. Got these beds done. There's a giant... Oh, never mind. The rain came. There was a giant fire on both sides of the map. Um, not really much is going on. They've just been hauling stuff. Doing a little bit of mining. Kind of squaring this stuff off for buildings and things like that. Um, that we'll be building in the near future. Such as homes for our new colonist. I'm waiting on them to get these removed and everything. And got some growing going on. Um... We had a quest. They wanted us to build a monument. Not interested. Don't really care. Um, and then I think we had... Uh, yeah, Valentine had a social um, inspiration. Stuff like that. I was hoping that we would get to fight the mechs this episode. We are running a little, you know, far uh, into the episode. Not too bad. It's about 20-some minutes. But I think I am going to go ahead and call it an episode in just a moment. So we'll see if the mechs show up at all or if anything interesting happens. Um, currently the, our, uh, our guys here are just chilling out in this little cave, <laughs> sleeping on the floor, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty wonderful. I wanted to put this here so that they would share the heat, and then I forgot that this is the only room with the heater, <laughs> so, I mean, it'll help in the future, though. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one in there and let them get that done. Got a lot of horses. We, we don't, you know, we have, like, a lot of horses we haven't bothered to you know, um, <laughs> sell them at all. So we're, we're getting a lot of those. Uh, turkeys are happy in their beds, though, and it's basically it. Uh, we don't have enough components for this. We're going to be trying to get that soon. So um, that's basically it. I think I am going to go ahead and call it an episode, though, guys. We've accepted the quest. We've got a good bit of stuff done, sort of, this episode. We really got the defenses kind of lined out and things like that, and that should help us out quite a bit. I would expect that... Well, Tantrum, Valentine, come on. Stop that, you. I would expect that we'll most likely be fighting the mechs in the next episode, which I am going to go ahead and, like I said, call it an episode. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye, guys.